Um, and then, uh, in the meantime, we've also uh, got Alkali and Xander joining us. How's it going? <laughs> Not bad. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Uh, and this was kind of like this random idea of just, like, we should, like, do stuff together. Because you guys have an awesome show. And uh, sp- speaking of which... Well, and uh, he's fabulously blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Blue is oh. the best color. I exactly. Mean, I mean, you can't yeah. have any other color besides blue. Well, you can, <laughs> but it's... Um, ours just, <laughs> you know... Just- Declare just, we, we, the best color. You can't just declare the best color. We can always declare the best color. It doesn't mean that we're Look, right, but you know, we'll, we'll we'll side with ourselves. We've already declared the best tape as Gaffer's tape. We don't need to declare the best color, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but if he was green, he would die. Dabadi. We do have our AV tech here with us. Uh, it was a last minute addition because he helped us get all this reset up. I would like to introduce the king of AV for us, Mackie. Okay. How's it going, Mackie? Okay. It's good. How about you? Pretty good. Uh, we, we had a fun time of adventures uh, fucking around with um, hardware at AC, <laughs> trying to get the yeah, VJ sure. stuff to work. Yep. But uh, yeah, so speaking of uh, amazing AV setups and fun things, you guys <laughs> had a kick ass stream for uh, Foxmore Pepper Coyote. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thanks Thank so you much. so much, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So you you watched the insanity. Uh, we did, yes. And uh, like and we played part of it on the show. We, we actually played part of it. Yeah, I believe during our last uh, or the roundup on our last show. But uh, like, first of all, the setup was amazing. You guys were just like chilling in the backyard with drinks and everything. And then you guys also had them like live performing music. Um, yeah. yeah, that must have been uh, insane. And I know Mackie had like ten jobs. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it was really busy. In my experience, <laughs> it was just sitting in front of a camera. Were there was there more to it than that, Mackie? I don't remember. I, I mean, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just a few, just a few things involved, right? There, there, there were a couple more cables than there used to be, but <laughs> yeah, a couple more cables. Yeah. Alkali's house looked like it was like had a computer virus or yeah. something. There were <laughs> so many freaking wires. It was a matrix. There are holes in my wall. You put holes in my wall, hey, and I judgment. loved it. Hey, that's I'm good cabling. You. Yeah, that's good. It's yeah, very good cabling. <laughs> oh God! No, yeah. that that was an un- unbelievable showing by uh, our king of AV over here, Mackie, who showed up to my house and said, "Okay, I've got the setup. Will you yeah. help me unload the truck?" And I said, "Is what? there a phone like, on the tree over there? Like, is what is that on the oh, tree? Yeah, is that a mic that's, or a phone? No, that's, yeah. that's an iPhone. That's the Apple tree." It is it's the I fucking hate you. Yeah. I forgot that you guys could see my apple yeah. tree. Oh yeah. Oh, the apple tree was in full view right next God to God damn it. <laughs> so I I'm, I'm B-rolling a clip from the from the live stream where you guys had pandas there too. You guys I mean like you guys raised so much money so fast. That that is the unbelievable talent of two of the most amazing people in the fandom, Fox Moore and Pepper Coyote. Uh, they they brought in the people. We merely set up the equipment and served the drinks. They are unbelievable. How many yeah, minutes we, did it take you to reach the twelve thousand goal? Uh, twelve that, minutes. That is uh, no no twelve thousand goal. You're thinking of ten. Uh, the twelve thousand oh, goal was reached in fifteen. We did. We wanted yeah. it in twelve. We missed it by a hair. Remember? No, it was twelve thousand. Uh, you know what? Go with Mackie. Mackie knows this way better. Twelve thousand was the the uh, initial goal. And that was hit in 12 minutes. And that was, was it 12 and 12? Okay, yeah. I'm going to go with Mackie because it sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we, did, we just uh, we set everything up and uh, we just sat back and we got, we got to watch them cry. It was great. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> Tears were shed. That was like the theme of the show. Like I, My only direction was, all right, at one point, Fox and Pepper are going to cry. And I want that streamed over the internet. <laughs> I want to not be the only one crying for once. Do it, Mackie. It worked. <laughs> he showed up with three cameras, a cameraman, new TVs. Yeah, like, that what was the scary. hell? 60 frames yeah, per he, second. He said he, said he wanted a show. So I was like, okay. And then when I showed up, like this was not what he expected. And it was fun. You showed up two days early and took over my kitchen. Yeah, I we was like, hey, make chili. there's no food in this room right now. <laughs> you couldn't and make chili. That's a tragedy. Is chili, it is chili a tragedy. something you make often? There is a lot of chili in this house. Actually, if you watch our show Dungeons and Dragons, the chili joke that rears its ugly head every once in a while in the show is a uh, inside joke between myself and Xander because the sheer amount of chili that I purchase and make. Well, my character is always denied chili. He almost gets it, but he always doesn't get it. So that's just the. You will never joke. have chili on my watch, uh, either at the end or in heaven when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Going to chili heaven. Stop chili heaven. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Stop chili heaven. Really, really, he just wants to go to Chili's. <laughs> so, uh, so Alkali, I have a question for you. 
Yes. Uh, so I've, uh, you know, I've like gone to a bunch of cons and seen you on stage a whole bunch. And uh, you, so do, you, you do the whole thing. <laughs> you no, know, it's great. You do the whole thing where uh, if a microphone doesn't work, you're just like, I don't need this. And you just kind of scream. Do you, like... Do you act? Does your voice actually wear out by the end of a con? Like, is that a thing for mm-hmm. you, or are you just like some superhuman like voice amplifier all in one thing? He eats apples from his apple tree. He oh, always there has a good you, voice. oh yeah, see that helps. I I legitimately wish I could take full credit for it. it that's a two part answer. Uh, if you're asking me if I ever blow out my voice during a convention, the ch- technical answer would be no. I don't blow out my voice. I do burn it. Because people are legitimately funny. Furries make me laugh constantly, and they have the tendency to make me laugh while I'm drinking tequila, and I burn my larynx constantly at conventions. And then my voice just dies. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, oh you're, a tequila, you you're a tequila man. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not a tequila man. Oh, oh, my friend, visit me sometime. I will change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to see Pharaoh and Alkali get in an alcohol competition. Oh, it would oh, be, yeah. be a disaster. No, 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 no. Yeah. Don't do it. There is never a competition. Drinking should always be done to enhance the moment and never to destroy it. Our never. moments would be way too enhanced. <laughs> and yeah, it'd be t- <laughs> too much enhanced. <laughs> too much enhanced. Some zooming, too. Ah, uh, yes. Alec Lai and his performance enhancing drugs. Let's go to the footage. <laughs> the here's the, here's the strict regimen. That's My mother what? was a bartender, so I gained a lot of tips from her. So I can make any drink that you can imagine, and I can you won't even, even taste the alcohol. And I've oh, had a, that's been no. a problem for me because uh, I've had a lot of people enjoy. I drink a little bit too much from Rekka to uh, It's CJ like difficult and... to go to cons with you because you just like the entire back <laughs> section of your car when you drive is alcohol. Oh, I've, re- I've brought a whole bar to cons. That's what I, what I used to do is I brought uh, like three totes of alcohol <laughs> and I would bartend for the weekend. <laughs> We, we we had an incident because I found out that Amazon exists. <laughs> Did you know you can purchase a pop-up bar off of Amazon for under $200? Oh, oh my God, really? Yep. It's, it's ridiculous. It fits it's, into a travel case. It'll it fit fits into a travel trunk. case. <laughs> it's got wheels. It has wheels, and it takes 10 minutes to have a full corner bar ready to go. Yeah, I, can hear t- I heard I've Pharaoh excitedly it. typing. Wow, there's a lot of <laughs> I want the Margaritaville one. Click on the Margaritaville one. Which go one down. is that? No, go down. Go, go down. down. Right there. <laughs> oh, it's 330. Oh, look at oh. all the different styles that you can get here. Oh, oh, oh Tiki yeah. Bar. Oh, Brick. Oh, it matters. Don't come with the wine shirt. They better come with the wine shirt. You can't just have Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> it's a cheeky bar. Oh man, the racing stripe. <laughs> I love those flames. Yeah, High speed. <laughs> oh, racing my God. stripes. Oh man, that must be the Guy Fieri all right. bar or something. I think I have an idea for a panel. What's the next con that all you guys are going to be at? Uh, Probably MFF. MFF, yeah. MFF. MFF. Yep. All right, I'm going to write to them tomorrow. I think we're going to have a panel called We Might Die. <laughs> <laughs> you bring your bar, I'll bring my oh, bar. No. Have you guys ever watched uh, what's his name? Neil deGrasse Tyson, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen the uh graphic of two solar systems colliding? That yes. will be our two bars. And we'll do dueling bars. Like we need banjos and booze. We the, got this. This is gonna be a you know that, I mean? That's a good uh, uh <laughs> yeah. panel name, banjos and booze. Banjos and booze, <laughs> yeah. And, booze. and honestly, people will show up and be like, so what is this? And you'll just be like, Well, it's self explanatory, and they'll be like, What? And you'd be like, yeah, look, we got booze and banjos, and like that's it, no other explanation. So we need to have two banjo players, and each one we sp- we're getting them drunk on our side. <laughs> so that leads me to a question, guys. Do you know of the panel called Advanced Trigonometry? Oh no, I do not. No, <laughs> I'm not going to mention the convention, but we'll say that it is a very um, indie fur con. So there's this con <laughs> that did a panel called Advanced Trigonometry. Right. And it was in the book, and it said, Advanced Trigonometry, <laughs> come, learn, advance, and that was like the entire description. Well, if you went, it was a beer pong competition. <laughs> oh my god. For two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> They expected four or five people to show up and be, like, pleasantly surprised. No, we forgot something. Furries. It had 30 people show up, not knowing what it was, just wanting to go, I'm going to the trigonometry panel. My favorite, my favorite part of that is that there was the beer pong, but there was also meth people that, there. There was also meth people. That went full 
beautiful mind on their asses. Oh, yeah. That's right. And we're sketching amazing. out full things on poster boards. Yeah, there were that poster boards fantastic. at the end of it, like of advanced trigonometry. We they came out of this like beer pong panel. We it have those posters. Awesome. I will bring them out later. We will take pictures and send them to you. They're fantastic. I love this. <laughs> I, I feel like it, for the panel with like the bar or the booze and banjos, though, you need to have a line for the bar, but then you also need to have a line for the banjo. So like people like what? wait in line for a person to just play them some banjo and then they're like, all right. And then they just kind of walk away. Oh is this the line God. for the banjo or the bar? Yeah. I don't oh, know. No. Do it like a marble run. It just randomly splits in the middle. You don't know if you're going to get banjo or booze, but could you really be dissatisfied? Yeah. <laughs> and then you could just keep going back through the line and just kind of see which, you know, which one you get. You got to roll for initiative. Oh, yeah. wait. Yes. Is this like where you, you chug the beer and you spin the bat on your head, then you play a banjo? Is it like those games? <laughs> Like at the <laughs> local baseball, you know, minor league game. That's what I'm picturing. It is I'm now. Thinking. Okay, cool. Hey, guys, we're going to get banned from MFF. How you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> they just ban you on principle. Like they don't, they're like, oh, no. Nope. Preemptive, preemptive ban. They just hear that you're planning an event. They don't even know what it's called or what it's about. They just preemptively like, they're like, yes, oh, we'll take care of that. <laughs> well, that's where short shorts came from, MFF. Wait, oh god, the what? short shorts thing. Oh god, it, this is. Wait, what? Yeah, where did this even come from? Like, I mean, if it was a '70s theme, no. Maybe? That, I, I just decided sports. that um, you know how everyone like at cons has some themed party, like people go underwear parties and you know, oh, yeah. toga parties. I was like, I don't like yeah. underwear parties because it just gets it gets a little wild. I'm just not. I just no. Right. And then same with toga parties, just gets a little wild, and it's just like. I didn't know they do furry toga parties. I didn't know that. So did, did you plan this when you purchased the things, or would, did you just, like, walk? Yes, I planned this. Okay, so you went into a... Uh, no, first it was for a gaming show you, we had left over, and then I went... That's and, right. And then I went and bought all of them. <laughs> so, so fun fact, Pharaoh went to, like, a, a thrift store and just bought, like, ridiculous clothes, because when we were doing the Extra Life thing, part of, like, the... You know, the battle between each mm. other was that we'd have to, you know, wear something embarrassing. Well, anyway, a thrift store started calling Pharaoh regularly saying, oh, hey, we have more of those short shorts if you want them. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? And they just know. So him as I the bought guy. out all of the short shorts at a thrift store. <laughs> all of them. Every last pair. Every literally one. then had a party at MFF and was like, well, <sighs> if you want a drink, you have to be in short shorts. We were oh like, well, I don't God. have short shorts. I had a box of short shorts and. Sozin, Sky, Shia, everyone. Um, K, uh, the picture still exists. CJ was there with his uh, amazing short shorts. Yeah. Um, Were they bedazzled? No. They, but <laughs> <laughs> he had a pink shirt and tie. I, I don't great. know how big uh, Simpsons fans you guys are, but I'm just picturing you dressed as a pirate and you just let the the, the cargo fly. Arr, my precious cargo. I the hate hot, you so the, much. The hot pants, sir? Hi. <laughs> well, uh, the, the best one, though, is that MFF, didn't you guys, like, start crashing panels, including... No, uh, didn't, okay. <clears throat> there was no point. Of, we weren't crashing panels, okay? Right. We all drank. We were all in short shorts, and we strutted down to the main lobby because there was supposed to be con horror stories that Sozin <laughs> was hosting. So you Pandes. wanted to create another one? <laughs> Yeah. Hold on, that was you guys, you sons of bitches. <laughs> I remember this now, and now I understand the short shorts. <laughs> oh no, it's a sex When gang. worlds collide. <laughs> so you Did guys... you just call them a sexy gang? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the way we strutted down there, we looked like a sexy gang. <laughs> That's right. What is their gang name? <laughs> Legs for days. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the all of the uh, tour furries are upset about the trademark. Oh, <laughs> but uh, no, you guys, you guys went and like somehow accidentally ended up in was it Kage's panel or something? Yeah, we we, we mm. were given the panel room number, but we got the panel room number right, but not the location like Thompson or whatever. So. We busted in the doors like we were ready for the con uh, horror stories party. And there was like 30 people in a room and Kage was on stage and like mid like whatever he was doing. I don't even know what panel. We still don't know what panel that was. <laughs> and we oh. strutted like halfway down the aisle and we're like, we're in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, and all of a sudden, might like have been the pseudoscience panel, if I remember him telling me this correctly, it was pseudoscience. Oh my god! Oh yeah, then that was it because he was like, "Where are your pants?" <laughs> <laughs> we are here to test the scientific theory that thick thighs save lives. <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh I wish God. we were ready for that because we, then we uh, ended up going to the uh, con horror stories and there you go. You guys were just like uh, you guys were literally a sexy gang, just <laughs> horrifying everybody. You guys were just like you guys would like l- uh, lock your arms together and just strut down the con in your short shorts. Well, we technically we haven't done it uh, since we all got banned from. MCFC. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, didn't the uh, the chairman of MCFC like fake ban you guys? Or yeah, something? Indy actually <laughs> wrote ban on all of our badges. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> because we strutted into the dance comp and harassed the audio booth with Adi and everyone, and we didn't mean to, but, <laughs> but when we were alcohol's a thing, we get you. Yes. <sighs> But we, t- the entire event stopped what it was doing and turned to look at you guys wearing short shorts in the AV booth. And it, it literally just destroyed the event. Like, you crashed Dear God. it. God. We, we, we crashed an event with our legs. With legs. That was when I knew that we were too powerful. Yeah. And that's when you got banned from MCS. Yes. You guys are like the best kind of terrifying, just so you know. <laughs> Pretty much. That is a really good way to do You don't want to hang out with me. <laughs> this is Incorrect. this is this is <laughs> we're already doing a panel together. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the panel is called People Will Die or whatever. <laughs> People no. will die, colon, banjos and booze. Ah yeah. yes. Hmm. Or just banjos okay. and booze and then and the description for the event come to die. <laughs> <laughs> just like Mad Max the panel. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got new Furcon themes for first square, that's for sure. No. <laughs> yes. Now I just want to make a Mad Max bar. <laughs> of course. Like with like me? saws, like grinding ice and everything. <laughs> just like. <laughs> this is safe. Yeah. If your bartender is just really, really like insistent. Witness me as he makes your drink. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry, that's bad. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> I'm, I'm me. loving this idea. I, I will be I will let you guys know if we can make this happen. We are getting banned from a cotton. This is happening. <laughs> you get one glass of water. Do not become addicted to water. God damn it, Sander. <laughs> we have tequila and other fine <laughs> drinks. Oh. oh god. By the time everyone leaves our panel, they all have a tumor on their shoulder they draw a happy face on. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> like people oh. go back to their room and people are like, "Oh my god, you look terrible! What happened to you?" It's like, "Oh, I was at the, uh, you know." We'll bring some silver spray paint. <laughs> yeah. Yes! We'll just spray everyone's glasses. <laughs> oh yes. Man, we're getting banned from this hardcore. Good work, guys. <laughs> hotel love spray paint. <laughs> oh yeah, the hotel love it. Oh god. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh man! But just get Gentlemen, a can of thank silver. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us on. And I had noticed right at the beginning when we were listening to your show, this is your three hundred and second episode. Yeah, yeah. kill us. Yeah, now. We're, yeah. Please kill us. <laughs> I mean, we basically <laughs> just repeat ourselves every twenty episodes. I don't know how the hell you guys are doing it. Yeah, I don't. Know, I don't know either. Um, but uh, we just keep going, keep doing. I don't know. I, I bring a laptop in that's uh, slowly dying, and then I just kind of. Um, Improv. The yeah, rest. It's all improv. It basically, the meme of the show is that we never plan anything. So, like, everybody shows up. We're like, what are we doing? We're like, well, I don't know. <laughs> that, that, that really is how every podcast starts. I put a microphone in front of Alkali and said, okay, start talking. He's like, what? See, and that's see how what we you said there? You said starts. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, the difference is we just kept going. <laughs> yeah. And we never <laughs> stopped. So we never really fully started after the start of, you know. It's one of those things where, like, somebody asks, like, oh, so what's your show? And I just kind of start sobbing and go, I don't know. What's it about? <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> there's a lot just, of things we do. <laughs> just take one from Seinfeld. It's a show about nothing. You just you go. go with it. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Accurate. It's Pretty a much. show about a train crash. Oh, so my, my favorite is especially when you're at the level of like, okay, we have now been doing this. We we just passed our 200th episode from a recorded studio. You guys are on your 300 second. The tech problems that you get to oh, experience. Jesus. Oh, 
glorious, glorious tech problems. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we had a fireside for our Patreons only uh, last night. And literally 30 seconds before we went live, uh, <laughs> our other AV tech, Miko, our roommate who joined us for the cast, his chair broke. Ah. We use camping chairs outside and the fabric just decided, no, I'm done with your shit and released. And he was <laughs> sitting behind the chair with a screwdriver screaming, man, this is the bonus round. I got it. How much time is left fixing a chair up until the moment we went live? <laughs> By the way, Miko is like five pounds. So that's just the gods <laughs> spiting us, really. Yes. That chair was not having it. Yeah. I literally bought chairs 30 minutes before the show started. Yeah. yeah we're, that's we're, oh, wait. Literally. That's where he went. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. That's where he went. Did you not notice you didn't have chairs until 30 minutes ago? No, oh, no, no we're we're had, chairs. We've been using shitty folding chairs. So that's the other fun thing is like we spend tons of money on like AV gear, but we have like like crappy like $10 folding chairs. Your Priorities. Chairs are expensive. Yeah, chairs are expensive, man. <laughs> My D and D crew that does Dungeons and Dragons with me just told me that they refuse to do season two unless I buy them better chairs. We need chair. <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, we're getting to that point too, where it's like, hey, okay, we just spent like fifteen hundred dollars on like a camera lens. Can we buy a chair that isn't fifteen dollars? Excuse me, these like fifteen dollar chairs from the nineteen seventies are very comfortable. They just need to be raised up a little bit. Yep, and, and they feel very, very evil like, when you like just rest what, your arms oh, in them. Ahead. Yeah. yeah. I have a very important question for you. What did you do with your old chairs? What? I'm using one of them. So one of them um, is like one of those fake leather chairs and the leather is slowly disintegrating. So there's just particles from it everywhere in the room. So like you'll just be going around and you just find little pieces of this yeah. leather. They keep like, we don't have any, like, sing, like this actually I think is the only matching chairs that we now have in the house. No, besides the other two out there. Oh, that's true. And every we never have three of the same chair. Throughout the house, the kitchen table has like what has yeah. four different it's just chairs, all random <laughs> scattered chair, and then and then all of our uh, glassware in the kitchen is all from cons. Like every <laughs> every glass, it'll be like MCFC, MFF, like they're all like sponsor, yeah, whatever that's things. Like, nah. That's basically all of my nice T-shirts <laughs> right now. Yeah. Is from cons. All of our fine china has <laughs> some fur con on it, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Well, I run a convention. That's how we decide I, next year's gift. It's like, okay, what dishes am I missing? <laughs> All right, that's what we're giving out. I need a few more of these. <laughs> just gonna... I just want a con to start doing like sets of just stupid fucking things. Like, what if you're super sponsoring, you get forks yeah. like one yeah. year, then knives the next year, then uh, spoons, and then the you have like a squares. salads bowls, like and then like. Oh, shit. Salad bowls. We haven't done salad bowls. <laughs> Guys, we're doing salad bowls at First Square. <laughs> I, you're the con chairman. Yes, I can do whatever I want. No one listens to me. Is it an ironic gift because you're not going to put any salad in that bowl whatsoever? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, that's the you thing. Know, you don't have to go that far. It's it's a vegan theme, so you know you can oh, kind of right. add other things in, and then it'll just no, be it's a not complete vegan. Joke. It's you know <laughs> herbivore. Maggie, it's a Maggie, herbivore con. Herbivore con. con. <laughs> Which con almost had the riot at closing ceremonies unless we made the con theme for next year, Eat Your Vegetables? Was that oh, IFC God. or First Squared? I I think it was First Squared. Okay. So oh, that, that, that was when they kale. came and delivered the, like, many, many plates from the hotel of kale. Oh, like, Jesus Christ. Ooh, kale. Like, uh, oh, it's yeah. disgusting. It was oh. ridiculous. Like, yes. Yeah, we almost got forced into a con theme of Eat Your Damn Vegetables. <laughs> And I was tempted. I was tempted. Oh. Wow. Would that would okay. every like I don't even know what you would do with that theme. Like would everybody just salad finish bowls. every event with oh, baby yeah, carrots? <laughs> baby carrots. There'd just be little carrots everywhere, like carrot yes. plushies or something. Oh my god. It's a con theme. The con theme, for the most part, it just kind of exists until you go to one of the cons. It's like we love this theme. Let's go crazy. Like uh, BLFC. What, Mackie? What year was that? Year one for BLFC? Which one? The uh, insane. Uh, BLFC uh, has always been on point with their I, themes. They've been oh yeah, just amazing. insane. I think the other one that's been really good was FWA when they did the full uh, college life jackets and everything. That's a good one. Wow. Yes, yeah, they had full they really like. like 
Uh, I loved how FWA's one year was Furry University, so all That's, their logos yes. said F U. Uh, <laughs> oh man. And then there's uh the uh Ohio convention for reality. For yes. reality is unbelievable at theming. Uh they have a crew that makes a new fursuit for the con almost every year, uh, up to and including a uh human robot. Uh, robot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it basically looked like GLaDOS and amazing. Yeah, they do a great job on wow, theming. Wow, I've not heard of them. So I, I, I'm, I'm now in Intrigued. Yeah. Oh, uh, a small, wonderfully done Ohio con. I've been going there for quite some time for reality. Wonderful, wonderful people. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Well, well, thank you guys for for like just randomly joining us and, and having a good time. We definitely got to come on your show at some point, too. Absolutely. We would absolutely. And now that I know that you're all drinkers, we're just going to fly you out. How much does it cost to fly your bar out here? There's my new question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just buy another one on Amazon. Just quantity two. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yes. but, uh, well, the thrift store that, I, that I got these chairs from, yeah. they had a whole 70s section. And you know, like the old, like, bearskin carpet rug with, like, the fireplace that was, like, half a ta- detached? Oh, no. <laughs> um, then they had a, like, can we, can we, instead, leather bar. Instead of they had a, a leather door? bar that you could buy, too. And I think it was, like, oh. $400. Oh. I-, I gotta say, instead of having a studio door, can we just have, like, a bead curtain that, like, you just push through? <laughs> yeah. That's soundproof, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go with yes. We don't know how audio works. Put it, this is no, put it, put it behind the bookshelf. So oh, like yeah, after you, you open go. the bookshelf door, then you go through the bead curtain. Oh, yeah. Our studio is going to have a, a bookshelf door. So, like, yeah. you have to, like, pull a book to open a secret door. <laughs> but, I, would uh, but definitely, and- I would definitely enjoy that. I want a secret <laughs> door. Well, what I was but thinking then- is, like, what I was thinking is filling the shelf with, like, furry porn, but then there'd be, like, a Bible, and you pull the Bible and the door opens or something. See, I went dark <laughs> with it. I was, like, mind Kampf. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. Hold on. I'm liking where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> because then you're going to an attic. <laughs> oh. oh. So, wait. You don't want the diary of Anne Frank? I'm done. <laughs> 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 uh, that's what my initial I, start, I, I thought really? was like I thought that would have been the funniest but I was like oh that's kind of mean though too I was like it needs to be something random like Necronomicon and you just pull it and like you know Pentagram shows up and then the door opens <laughs> the problem with that most of the books on Alkali's shelf are the Necronomicon shut up <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a teen once I'm allowed to have dark literature <laughs> Oh my god. We have a book ordained by the Pope <laughs> for exorcisms. <laughs> we um I, 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 some people know this I used to run a campsite where we played uh, Nero a LARP I do and when we first bought this campsite there is a historical house it's a historical site so we couldn't really do anything to the house and as we're cleaning it out in the basement find a shelf with one of those fake books with the pocket in it. Mm. And we were so excited until we opened it up and found cocaine. <laughs> so we were just like, wait a minute. Okay. And of course, we have uh, the, 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 the mother of the gentleman who ran this with me. He was like 80 years old at the time, can hear us from upstairs like, wait a minute, did you find illegal narcotics in my house? Like, <laughs> no. So she yells down, what are they? I might want them. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma knows how to party. Right. She just comes down, oh, I was looking for those. <laughs> this is the same woman who joined us for the very first uh, charity, Cards Against Humanity, and shocked the entire room by saying, biggest, blackest dick, I don't get it. They're not that big. Have you seen big Asians? We're like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh, she's amazing. That's she's a, just out of her mind. She's in 3018. Mm-hmm. But, and uh, we love her. We also got somebody in the chat room named Where Fox says uh, his husband or from MFF says hi. Yeah. Hello. Tell, <laughs> tell him his husband from MFF says hi. I'm scared. I don't know what this is, but they're just saying oh, that I should say it. God, I know what this is. Wait, what? Did you get married behind Nothing. my back? Shut up, Xander. I love you. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> this interview is over. <laughs> Wait, this is an interview? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it feels like it now that Xander knows I've been married four or five times. Yes. <laughs> Only at MFF? Is it what happens yeah. at a con stays at a con? <laughs> Look, I run some weird panels, guys. I gotta be honest with you. Well, I have a wedding I dress. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you gonna Do you need wedding? it for one of your panels? <laughs> Are you gonna have a wedding dress party now? Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, shit. The bride to be? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone oh. wears one. Yes. We actually have a friend who was a bride recently and wanted to go to our Vegas con. Like, just bring your wedding dress because it's the Vegas theme, the the shotgun wedding theme for Vegas. It's perfect. Just I hate you fucking... so much. <laughs> she was into it. She might do it. Oh, God. No. <laughs> just remember, the mouse always wins. The mouse always yes. wins. 
Uh, I'm missing something. How does the mouse always win? The uh, we 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 don't like just saying the theme at first squared. Like we we always kind of hint at it. So at closing ceremonies, we announced the theme for 2019. Said the theme for 2019 is the mouse always wins. Now Miko, our roommate, the head of logistics at first squared, from the back of the room screams out, "Yay!" and just leaves mm-hmm. because he always <laughs> the theme is Vegas. The house always wins, but we couldn't finish the pun because the entire room room was laughing too loud (laughs) so a lot of people think the theme is the mouse always wins and have no idea the context of it so this is going to be a weird year we might get a lot of cheese (laughs) delicious it's in wisconsin of course we're gonna get a lot of cheese hell yeah all right (laughs) oh my god thank you guys so much by the way for just for joining us this is awesome it no has fun. been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for having us on your show, dude. We're, we're, we are fans, and uh, we have absolutely enjoyed this experience. Thank you for sharing it with us. I'm okay. upset that I haven't drinking with you in this many towns that I've gone to. <laughs> yeah, it definitely needs to happen. <laughs> well, we're, I am at, uh, I think, all of them from this point forward. I don't freaking know anymore. <laughs> yeah. If you're trying to find Alkali, he's always at some panel if he's uh, at a con, usually. So. Yeah, but I've got Megaplex for reality, IFC... MFF because you were at Philadelphia oh, doing uh, Philadelphia because that was the new like, I was there for the first year I drove down and I believe you were there drinking with Boozy. Yes, with, uh, I forgot what you guys uh, were playing Kings Cup. Kings Cup. Yes, we, were, we took over a table in the hallway, started playing Kings Cup, and when hotel security approached us, we said, "Don't worry about it. The only one drinking hard alcohol is the tall fat guy." The guy nodded and walked away, and I love that hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You guys were smashed. <laughs> I'm always smashed. <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad that you guys made it onto our show and uh, haven't died yet, but uh, we definitely got to, speaking of, you know, death, uh, we, we got to definitely have a panel at a con and kill some people. I think that'd be good. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, contact us after the show. I have started submitting my stuff to MFF. I would love to do something joint with you guys. Uh, maybe we can uh, rekindle the cluster cast. If you guys didn't hear about that one at AC, yeah. uh, it's a joint podcast that we sometimes run. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Maybe we can ha- make it happen at MFF. Hey, remember that video that we made on YouTube saying we were going to have a panel at MFF? And then we never did. <laughs> and then we never did. Yep, I remember that. <laughs> so maybe, we'll have oh. a, maybe we'll have a panel at MFF. <laughs> hey, guys, I'll tell you what, that because... Panel planning is a little boring. Contact me after the show. We'll figure something out. All right. And uh, one other thing, too. Uh, so you guys have anything coming up on the Dragon Show? Anything you guys want to plug or anything uh, to mention there? Uh, as of right now, we just did our 200th episode. Everything is up on our YouTube page. Uh, we hope that some few people go and uh, uh, enjoy that. But the big one right now uh, today was kind of a weird day because – my entire D&D crew, there's six of us that play Dungeons & Dragons. We are all about to get very busy. So we have been recording episodes of Dungeons & Dragons since 8 a.m. this morning. And it finished half an hour before we got on this call. Wow. And I have to say that these are some of the best episodes we have recorded. Uh, my, my players are stupendous. They are brilliant. They have never played the game properly and I wouldn't have it any other way. They destroy me with the creativity of spells. So if you guys get a chance, hopefully some people can join us for Dungeons Dragons. It airs Sunday at 7 PM central time. Every Sunday that is not a convention. <laughs> every Sunday. There you <laughs> go. That's a, that's a pretty good way to put that. Actually. That's great. Uh, awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us. No, no problem. And uh, like, yeah, I, I think you just had it up on your uh, site there. D- if you want to get to anything Dragon Show, uh, com is the way to get there. Because uh, we're on YouTube and SoundCloud and Twitch and all those things. So it's, e- it's an easier way to find all the stuff that we're doing. So, so. before you go, I have to ask oh. this. Um, have you ever had any problems with YouTube with your show? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 is, it, hey, hey, uh, is it possible to not have problems with YouTube? Right. Yeah, we we have our own streaming infrastructure because we just couldn't fucking deal with it. Like all of the, uh, like, and we yeah. we still simulcast on YouTube, but it still gets taken down all the time. Like, yeah, they're like, oh, you put you played Country Roads, or that, no, Pepper just played that with his mouth. That wasn't the <laughs> yeah, song you, you that was played it. on the there stream. It is. <laughs> yep. So it's like, God damn it! And it, you know, we've dealt with it. We're still up luckily but yeah we we feel your pain on the youtube side i, I gotta be honest with you the fact that we're still up on youtube after alkalized fuck tubs uh, i i think we're fine for <laughs> <now>. <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> oh, and if anyone out there is about to like, oh, this sounds fun, we're going to go listen to the Dragon Show. Don't listen to it around your parents. Don't yeah. listen to it. Don't like seriously. Just be forewarned. We're weird people. Yeah. Oh but yeah. This way, so oh, we've I, had, I, I've so, okay. oh, no. so back in the day, we used to do a lot more like fan emails, and we always get emails from like, especially like you know younger kids and stuff like that, you know, asking questions like, yeah. and, and we just got this email. No explanation of who they were, where they lived, anything really about them. It was just like, hey, I've been listening to the show. I'm kind of new to the furry fandom. I'm really looking to like go to a con. Do you have any advice? So we like uh, gave them some advice, and I Excuse replied me. to the email. <clears throat> I and no, <clears throat> <clears throat> I remember this. Oh, you do. Oh, oh, oh okay. no, I remember the details. Okay. I remember the details. All right. They were saying, how do I find other furries in my area? So we suggested like uh, IFPL, like searching for groups on FA and Facebook. I also mentioned like Pounce.org and stuff like that. I Out of this. nowhere, I get an email. I got the email. Yeah, that's right. You got the email. <laughs> I. I got the email. <laughs> I got the email. You got from email. their parents. <laughs> oh yeah. no! Oh, I do remember. And this. the email was like, the email was like, never, 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 never. talk to my child again. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yep. well played. <laughs> well, that, that was, that was uh, good. That was yeah. good. I, I think the most awkward, uh, one of the most awkward and funny things we had was done at our 200th, ep- 200th episode. Boozy oh, no. plays his, plays the episodes for his kids because he's a maniac. <laughs> he's up there with us and says, and all of a sudden we're talking about, it's this weird inside joke we have called the blood ritual where everyone just starts screaming the blood ritual and Boozy's kids just start, start going, the blood ritual. <laughs> <laughs> Boozy's toddler. In a in one of those toddler chairs, I don't have kids, so I don't know what anything is called. I don't know the torture device for toddlers. He's in one of those in the softest, childlike voice in a dead quiet room as the laughter dies down. <laughs> and Boozy's wife QM loses her shit, stands up and screams at Xander. You just made my toddler say blood ritual as one of his first 20 words. <laughs> I will see you in hell and owe you a drink. <laughs> Very nice. Also, I have to mention, not everybody's going to get this, <clears throat> but we kind of had a, I got the email, you got the email, I got the email. And then uh, somebody in chat, including me, uh, have started going through that whole uh, thing, um, the whole script from a strong bad Homestar Runner right? email. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, starts that man. way. So <clears throat> I got the email. You got the email. Wow, yeah. I haven't done Plus. Plus. Why seven six P? Oh, you yeah. that was the virus one. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is probably my favorite strong bad email. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's just it's kind of funny that a couple people got that reference in chat and they're yeah. starting to. Oh man, it's so good. Oh, guys, thank you so much. This has been an absolute pleasure. I I really enjoyed this. God, we're such a disaster together. Yeah, we're so, we're like horrible together. This is great. <laughs> Let's go drinking. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You say that about everything. All right. Yes. I make a delicious lemon drop. I, if you like bitch drinks, like I am the master of them. Oh, uh, see, I'm not a very good bartender. Uh, I know how to do vodka and cup, uh, tequila <laughs> and cup. Oh, whiskey oh, and really cup. Good, no, no, whiskey, just bottle. That, that's that's <laughs> very important. Just drink that one out of the bottle. It's self cleaning. Trust me. You that, like to make your tequila drinks I and fruit fruit. Uh, what, what's the one? T- uh, never mind. Tequila and soda, are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, that one. That's yeah, that's really, really frou-frou. Here's the ingredients. <laughs> one part tequila, a splash of soda water, a twist of lime, and ice. The wow. ice should be clear. <laughs> one thing I can't drink, though, is gin. It tastes like a pine tree to me. Ah, my friend, I will have a single, and I do mean this. Normally, like tequila, I can show you a few good ones. There is one gin drink for non-gin drinkers that will knock your socks off. I need to find very specific ingredients. I will have it for you at MFF. This one is courtesy of Duncan, who has made this drink for me multiple times. I am not a gin drinker. Oh, unbelievable. You have to try this thing. It basically is burning, but happiness. (laughs) I love burning burning happiness. Burning happiness. Burning happiness. (laughs) Like the good version of hemorrhoids, you know, burning hemp. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Wait, 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 stop for a second there. Is there ever a good version of hemorrhoids? I don't think there's ever been a good version of hemorrhoids, so I feel like your statement there is false, sir. I'm not putting that in an E621 search. Uh, <laughs> the good hemorrhoid. <laughs> oh, no.
<laughs> you got the that good one? hemorrhoid? That sounds like a good <laughs> yeah. like indie movie. I got the first one. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Speaking of alcohol, I think I have one more story to tell you because you were talking about indie fur con. Oh no. Lord. So I never had lemon drops before. Oh no. <laughs> Sozin hmm. was so kind to explain that they are the best drink ever and that I needed to have one. So there is an, like, an alcohol store that was like maybe 20, like 10, 15 minutes from Indie Furcon from like, I think their old hotel. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, let's go get the ingredients. And he was like, no, no, no. You know, there's a, there's a bar downstairs. You can go get a lemon drop. <clears throat> what did you do? So we go downstairs to the bar, order a lemon drop. And so kindly, I was like, well, I got, you know, I got this. You know, I drove all this way to come and see you guys, you know. So me and Sozin sit there, you know, drink a lemon drop in a martini glass. It's not a lot of alcohol, but it was, it was powerful. But ounce-wise, not that much, if you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lemon so- drops are pure vodka with some lemon. <laughs> it's a lot of food. What? What? Oh, God. Another sweet and sour mix, lemon, uh, usually lemon vodka, and then a little bit of, um, I'm trying to think of what else you actually add to sugar. it. Sugar. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sugar rim. Yes, you need sugar the sugar rim. rim. Yes. I think also a dash of, I'm going to regret this tomorrow. Hmm. That well, would be the lemon juice. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so, <laughs> we finished the drink, and the bartender gives me the check, and... I, I I'm like, oh, <laughs> and like I knew you know Martini was gonna be maybe like you know, at a hotel bar, you know maybe on the upwards of like ten twelve dollars per drink, uh-huh. yeah, twenty five oh. dollars. Oh, no, that's a lot of. We money. got two of them, oh, so I go no. Susan. <laughs> Do you realize how much these were? He's like, oh, like 13. I was like, $25 a piece. Oh. What kind of vodka did they use? <laughs> Citrone, I think. Oh. This All was right, not. That's a little bit. That, it's still not a $25 martini. What the shit? No. <laughs> so at this point, I'm cracking up. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> this is not $25. I was like, we can't wait to the liquor store and buy bottles of vodka for this. And so it was like, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. So because he felt so bad, he ordered two more. <laughs> That's how they get you. you gotta double so down, he baby. paid the same amount. So we paid $100. <laughs> For four martinis at Indie Fur Con. I was like, I'm never coming back and drinking oh, no. here again. I am calling your accountant. You are no longer in charge of your own money. That is not <laughs> how anything works, guys. Wow. He felt so bad that I already paid that he was like, I, I can't let you leave this table paying yeah, but $50. Why would you buy more? Why didn't you just give I your, don't know. Like, <laughs> just give your like, cash. Like, alcohol. That's why. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Valid point. This alcohol is so expensive. I'm going to buy more. <laughs> Alcoholic accountant here. That's about right. Oh, God. So that would the- be my job. Alcoholic accountant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Save yourselves. Get off the line. <laughs> <laughs> Before Thank you so much, Mackie. I'm so glad you got to stick around with us for a bit. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Hey, uh-huh. everyone, thank you for having us on your show. This has been an absolute pleasure. All right, thanks. Talk to you soon. All right, take Have it a easy. Good night, Drink everyone. with you soon. Bye. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs>